Hello minions and welcome to my channel and welcome to yet another video. Now as the title says, we are going to talk about how you can build back your confidence or build confidence if you're just a beginner or build back the confidence in going to the gym if you have gone in the past but you've lost the motivation and somehow along that motivation you become less confident. Now, be sure to watch the whole video because halfway through giving you guys the how to, I'm going to give you a special little offer that is only available to those that are watching this video. And you want to stay tuned until the very end so that you get all the tips. So, why don't we get started right away? I don't want to waste any of your time. Now, the issue here is that sometimes the gym can be very intimidating, right? Um, especially if you've never gone before and with the current situation that we're in, going to the gym is a little bit more difficult. It requires you to go in there with a plan and if you want to reach a specific goal, you know that you have to get to the gym eventually. If you've gone before, maybe you lack that confidence in yourself because you feel like who you were before is so, so far away now for and you don't know if it's possible for you to achieve that same thing again. So if you're in that second boat where you have lost your confidence that you had before because you used to work out a lot and now you're not working out as much, I want to let you know and I want you to think about it this way. You are no longer the same person you were before. And you have to start separating yourself from that person that you were before and start thinking of yourself as a new and different person and you're on a totally different journey. The journey you had before, that was a journey then. And now you're on a different journey and it's your job to separate those two and to commit to this current journey, not thinking about the past, and thinking about all the new opportunities that are coming your way, all the new things you are going to experience. So tip number one is that you want to commit to knowing that this is a long-term game and you want to commit to a sustainable and healthy approach. Committing to something that is more long-term is healthier for you both mentally and physically. Achieving results is one thing, but keeping the results forever is another thing. And the way to do that is by committing to something that is sustainable, meaning you're looking to build habits, something that you can practice forever, rather than practice for a few months or a year. Now, if you have done that before and you're struggling to find the motivation to get back in, create yourself something new and commit to smaller actions along the way rather than a big action so that you can start getting back to the gym. Now, number two, have a plan. This is super, super, super important. I can't tell you enough that without a plan, we are lost. So think of having a plan as marking the map with an X and knowing where you're going. Otherwise, you don't have any sense of direction of what you're doing and that's where motivation gets lost. Now, let's say you've had a plan and you've accomplished that goal and then somehow you've derailed off your path or maybe what has happened now in the world has put so much pressure on you and you've totally lost all that motivation. Instead of fo focusing and looking at the big pictures, look at a big goal and make, break it down into little smaller goals. Okay, so like daily actions, like that's how small I'm talking about. So that you have daily wins. And that takes me to number three, which is accounting for your wins on a daily basis. So sitting in the morning, journaling down what, you, what you've done um, the previous day or at the end of the day before you go to sleep, writing down something that you've accomplished. So be it, oh, I went for a walk today. Oh, I got in a short workout today. Oh, I stretched today. Those are all wins and they can all count for wins. And sometimes we tend to look past those wins and that's where we lose the drive and the motivation to keep going to the gym. I can't tell you enough how seeing my clients account for their wins along the way has kept them going. It is super, super important and I myself, when I was going through 
difficulties of going to the gym consistently, this was one of the biggest reasons why is because I never saw the wins that I was creating for myself and I was looking over them because I was only considering reaching my goal as a huge win. Now that is a very big win, but there's obviously wins along the way like getting stronger, going to the gym more consistently, um, fitting in your pants better, or whatever it is that coincides with your goal. And it's important to not look past that. Okay, so hold on. I wanted to pause right here before we go into the rest of the tips. And as I promised, I said that I would give you something that only you yourself would receive for watching the video. And that is you get a seven day trial of the pro wellness program of Nori Athletics. So that's my company that I share with my partner and the seven day trial of our online program where you get both of us as your coaches and we help you through building healthy and sustainable habits around nutrition and exercise. So if you're watching this video because you are struggling getting to the gym or building back consistency, then this program is designed for you because we help you build back healthy habits so that you can keep on going because we teach you how to take a more sustainable and long-term approach. So not only do you reach your goals, but you keep the results and along the way you built something that is a part of your lifestyle. So if this is something that you're interested, please click the link down below that I will be posting for you and you can sign up for our seven day trial of our online program where you get everything, like literally everything, exercise, help with nutrition, even like mindset coaching along the way. So don't miss out, join that up. All right, so tip number four is you wanna make it fun by including others or doing something fun along the way. Meaning that yes, going to the gym can be fun and it should be fun. So if it isn't fun, that could be one of the factors that are keeping you from going there. So maybe bring a friend along, a workout buddy, or even go do classes if you find that might be fun. Yes, it could be a little bit scary, but you'd be surprised that the people there too, there might be someone that is also scared or just by having fun, you will get so focused on the actual exercise as opposed to feeling like you're going to get judged by someone or um, that you're gonna make any type of mistake, okay? And the last one is that you should share your journey with someone, meaning share that you're going back into the gym because this can help you stay accountable. One of the reasons you might not be confident is because you're not consistent and you're not consistent because you're not confident. So it's like this vicious cycle. Now, if you have someone to keep you accountable, then they can help you keep going or even go with you if you need that help or suggest tips for you along the way when they see you're struggling or even for you to have someone to reach out, call up or text and be like, hey, like I'm just having a really bad day. And for them to be there to support you is gonna help you tremendously. And if you don't have friends or family that can help you through that, that's where hiring a coach can come along the way because a coach will coach you into going to the gym consistently. They are there to support you and help you and keep you going. So I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and show some support for myself here. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification button so that you get notifications when my videos come out, which is every Sunday morning, afternoon, every Sunday, every Sunday. Thank you once again for hopping on this video. I hope these tips help. If you have any other questions involving fitness, nutrition, mindset around that stuff, please do comment below and let me know what those questions are so I can maybe create a video for you and help answer those questions. But thank you.